We've talked about this a bit before, but I thought it would be cool to just uh-huh. do do a few minutes on. Will ask. Either, I would love a riff on mixing at low levels or the levels of mixing. I think generally, you and I have talked about this, and, and we talked Monitoring. about it. Yeah, but, listen, listening the level you're mixing, and I, I want to just say, you know, we talked about this in the the whole episode we did with harmonics and harmonic distortion. We talked about the Fletcher Munson curve, which I'll just remind yeah. people is that the frequency response of your ears is not even across frequencies. There's obviously yeah. super high dog whistle stuff you can't hear and super low sub stuff that you can't uh, you hear other than feel. But even within the audible range, that telephone range of the sort of 1K to 5K is going to sound more aggressive than everything else. It's worth learning yeah. about the human ear. But as levels get higher, as volume gets higher, um, the frequency response of your ears change. So it is valuable valuable to listen to some things not just on different speakers but at different levels yeah. um i don't know if you have thoughts about that or how i do you i have a lot it, but, yeah. i have a lot I, uh you should not turn your volume knob often you should set um i think um i'm sorry i'm sounding really prescriptive like this is what you need to do i'm gonna no, like start that. i'm like gonna yeah but i'm gonna start over to <laughs> phrase it without telling people what to do necessarily um it it it's beneficial to me when I stay at a volume, whether it be loud or soft. I also I love mixing loud and quiet. I mix it both, but I stay at each of them for an extended period of time enough that I adapt my ears adapt to what that is, so I can understand mm. improvements. Um, because if you're constantly changing the gain or your of the volume, um, your you're, you could trick yourself into improvement, right? You're like, oh, this sounds better because I just turned it up. It's like, no, you turned it up. It doesn't sound better. It actually sounds worse. That's a really good point. I, I change my volume constantly. I mean, I'm not doing as much pure mixing as you on production, but even then it's like, even then, I'm like, ah, let me turn it up. Let me just, ah, just ah. it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of, ah, it's a lot of that face trying to yeah, make it sound exactly. better. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I make most of my critical mix decisions quieter, mm. um, but I am a fan of music loudly so i listen loudly what is life without low end man you gotta have that exactly and i have big ass speakers with 3400 watts per side like i have a lot of power i have a lot of low end in my studio and it feels really good when it's turned up and that kick is punching you in the chest but i listen but i make the move on how much mid-range boost i want in a kick to get that knocky thing that i like in woodinesses of kicks I make that at a low volume and I turn it up to see how it feels. And I listen to it at a lengthy period of time, low and then high. I go back and forth, but I have two numbers on my Grace M905. I have num- so it's going to be different for everybody else. I can't tell you my numbers. It's not going to help anybody. Of course, of course. Because it depends on your, your game staging that you all have and what gears on your mix bus and how loud, yeah. you know, what, all the things. But I have two numbers that I'm at most of the time. Um, and they are very far from each other. In fact, I could have a dim switch that just does it for me, but I like the gradual. I don't want to just like go up high and go down. Yeah, low. Yeah, so, yeah. But you could think of it that way. You could think of it visually as having a dim switch that goes down one. Okay, this is where I make decisions. This is where I check to see how it feels good and how it's going to maybe translate later when someone's bumping it in their car. So I think about that a lot, and I catch myself too, just change in volume. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty habitual, so at this point I really don't. But I'll, I'll, I'll notice it every once in a while. I'm like, oh, I'm not at that number that I thought I was. I'm like a 0.5 off. And I don't want to make decisions at any number that I'm not comfortable with because then it's, um, you know, for grabs and if you yeah. improved it or not. Yeah. And as we were talking about before, if you switch from a loud volume to a soft volume or a soft volume to a loud volume, your the frequency response of your hearing has changed. Yes. Um, and so therefore you turn it up and all of a sudden mid range is harsher or softer or whatever. And you all of a sudden make different mix decisions. And that's not that's not a way to be.